Hi everyone, I just wanted to offer a little bit of a wrap up here for project two and uh, give you some tips on how to uh, finish off your projects in Logic Pro. Uh, the, my, my version is going to look a little bit different here because uh, I'm on an older version and I was unable to update before uh, doing this video, so apologies for that. Uh, but the main thing I want to point out here in the, in the main window, this should look the same, this, this timeline. The timeline in Logic is measures, not seconds. So. Uh, if you've got something that is reading 15, uh, 30 uh, on this, it's going to be 30 measures, not 30 uh, seconds. So, uh, which all more than more than likely is going to be uh, much longer than what you need. So make sure that you are uh, are, are perceiving this in uh, minutes and seconds, um, not in measures here on the timeline. So. Um, uh, you need to be saving this as a folder, so make sure that when you do save it, um, you save it as a folder, not as a package uh, in the, the save window. Uh, and I know previously in class I mentioned checking all these boxes. Uh, I found that particularly this one was causing uh, the file size for people's projects to balloon uh, pretty pretty high. And that has to do because the, the samples uh, in, in uh, some of these instruments are, are, are gigabytes of samples, and so... Uh, I had one student that was that had like a three gigabyte project after saving with this thing checked. So just check the audio files, check the space designer, um, and uh, make sure that it's set up as a folder and go ahead and, and save your project that way. Um, uh, once it's saved, okay, after you've saved the whole project, then you're ready to bounce, uh, which is what uh, Logic calls the render process. It was render and reaper. Now it's bounce here in Logic. So you go to the file menu. Uh, go down to the bottom here, you're going to see this option to bounce, and in this sub-menu, look for project or section. That's going to allow you to bounce part of your project. Um, and the few things that you want to run down here uh, in terms of uh, the options in this window, uh, one is the destination. I want this M4A or AAC format. This is the format. This is actually the encoding scheme that's used on the iTunes store, so if you ever... Uh, downloaded something from iTunes or heard something from the Apple Music Store. Um, it's been in this AAC format, uh, so that's the one we're going to use this time. So just make sure that box is checked. Uh, then check the start and end points here. Um, then these again are in um, measures. Uh, me it's like measures, beats, and fractions of a beat. So make sure this starting point, these are all ones, make sure that this end point is some measure that's after the end of your, your theme music, okay? Uh, so in this case, my music ends in measure five, so I have it bouncing all the way to measure six, the downbeat of measure six. Uh, the next option here is real time or offline. If you click, it doesn't really matter which one you click here, but real time is going to play it as it bounces, so you'll actually hear it playing, uh, which could sometimes be a good check uh, to make sure you're bouncing the right thing. Um, but if you're in a hurry and you want it to bounce as fast as possible, you want to pick the offline setting here, okay? Uh, finally, there's this... Um, include audio tail this is going to add a little bit of silence at the end of your 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 theme music uh, just to ensure that all of the plugins have stopped making sound uh, before it's done cutting off the the render uh, and then the normalize uh, go ahead and switch this to on because uh, that's going to maximize the level of your theme music okay uh, once you've set all those options you should get a readout here as far as how much disk space it's going to take up in megabytes but then also a readout in terms of how long it is and this is one good final check to make sure you've got a 15 to 30 second uh, theme music here okay um, don't need to worry about things on the other side of the panel here but once you hit all those things you can go ahead and hit OK uh, and it should bring up another window to ask you where you want to save it um, this can have the same name but it's gonna have a different extension on it um, or you can um, you know maybe add uh, WIP for work in progress if that's what you're uh, handing in um, and it's gonna save in a bounces folder that's part of your project so this is my project folder here and it created a bounces folder inside there for it to store this uh, and future versions. So I could actually uh, bounce multiple versions as I make changes of this and keep track of them here all in the project folder. So uh, once you've got that set, you can go ahead and hit bounce and it will do its thing, uh, spit out the sound file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save mine one last time. If I hide uh, logic and go to the finder uh, folder where this is saved, you'll see that I have uh, the, the folder structure for my project. I have all these other things, uh, including the .logicx file, but in the bounces folder, that's where the M4A is, okay? So it actually saves it as part of the project. So it's you're, you're good to go ahead and just take this uh, top-level folder for the whole project with the bounces inside. Uh, again, right-click or control-click to get the compress, uh, and that's going to give you this zip file, which you can then 
upload to Canvas. Um, and you can either put them together in a folder or you could upload two different zip files for two different uh, theme musics. Uh, and I'm very happy to get uh, just, let's see, ideally you go ahead and get both uh, theme songs uh, constructed for your draft, for your work in progress. Um, but uh, at the very least, try to get one done and get one uploaded so we can assure that everybody's do, uh, f following along with the process. Uh, but that's it for my wrap-up video here on uh, Project 2 Draft.